Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, what up, y'all? <laughs> so welcome to your readings for the second half of May. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please do not try to fit anything in where you don't feel like it fits, yeah? This is... Uh, these are readings for a lot of people, so just if it doesn't resonate with you, boop, just let it go and move forward. Um, I do want to, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I am very, very happy to be able to do this for you all, um, and I, I honestly couldn't be more grateful for the kind words and the feedback that you have been giving me about um, how the readings are resonating with you. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I am lovingly continuing to do this for all of us, yeah? I also want to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. I am doing this for free, um, so, you know, any sort of energetic exchange is greatly appreciated, yeah? You know, I'm extending the energy and you extend the energy back when you donate, so, I thank you all so, so, so very much. Let's see, what else? I am available for private readings. You can find uh, the readings that I offer in the de description box below, as well as my email address. If you would like to order a reading, just shoot me an email and let me know how you would like to proceed. Um, please make sure to take a second to read over the different options that are in the description box below. That way you can either choose what you want and we can streamline the order process, or if you're not quite sure, you can just send me an email slightly describing what's going on and usually I'm able to pick up, you know, which reading would be best for you. If you don't have a question, don't worry. Just come forward and we will talk, yeah? I can just channel the energy and see what, give you whatever messages Spirit wants to send you, yeah? So I believe that's it. How about we get into these readings? Yeah, let's do it. Hello, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for the second half of May, 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it. All right. Okay, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Virgo for this time period of May 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, Virgo, it's interesting because I'm I'm just channeling your energy right now and I'm seeing a lot of purple. and There's some green in there too. So, um, there's, I, I feel like you're, a lot of you, a lot of us, because Virgo's my rising sign, a lot of us are, really being influenced by spiritual energies and with the green that I'm seeing it's it's facilitating healing so that's pretty that's pretty wonderful I mean being surrounded by spiritual energy is really no surprise for me personally um, but for a lot of you this is new I'm, I'm feeling like this is really brand new for you and that's where the green is coming in because you're healing a lot of some misconceptions you may have had, may have had surrounding spirituality and, and spiritual nature. Okay, one more shuffle, Virgo. Okay, let's cut the deck. Okay, Virgo. Overall energies, we're starting with... The Knight of Wands in reverse. So, to me, the Knight of Wands is, um, it can be sexually promiscuous, especially when they are reversed like this, um, or, or, or negatively aspected. Um, someone that's really not into commitment, <laughs> um, but that could be for uh, reasons of, you know, past pain and past hurt. But also, this the, the Knight of Wands to me is a spiritual warrior, and I really feel like for some of you, there's someone. And now, okay, so here, this could be, and then this was directly related to the colors I was seeing. Someone is getting acquainted with 
um, their spiritual warrior status. So it may not necessarily be that they're refusing or that this is blocked. It's reversed because it's new. You know, they're not really too sure about it. They may, you may even be having, now this could be you Virgo or this could be someone that you are uh, associated with. Maybe even someone you're cross watching for. Um, they're having trouble with it. If, if, they're, if they're stepping into a new spiritual warrior status, they're having trouble with it. Um, there may be a lot of things that are changing around them in order for this to be facilitated. We have the Five of Swords in reverse, which is good. We have, wow, we have the Emperor in reverse. Oh boy. And we have the Five of Cups. Um, this is so nuts, guys. I mean, all of the signs, I, I this is, this, I, I'm an Aries, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Leo, I'm sorry, I am a Taurus sun, a Leo moon, a Virgo rising, and an Aries Venus. And I mean, a lot of the same cards have been coming up for all of those signs. It's very interesting. And you guys watch me shuffle and cut the deck, right? So this is obviously no coincidence, and I do not believe in coincidences. Okay, but uh, back to the message here. For a Virgo, um, Five of Swords energy is being laid down. And that's excellent because Five of Swords is never something that is really is good at all. It's self-destructive. Um, it is a lose-lose situation. I like to say, I like to see this as, um, I often see this actually as twisted masculine energy. If you look at it, you know, when it's upright, you see how, how aggressive these people are, um, and, and you know, that how they're really just, they don't necessarily have good intentions in mind. They really just want to like get up, get over on someone for the most part. Um, and that's why it's a lose-lose situation because when you're approaching a situation from that sort of energy, even though you may come out on top, you still lose in the end. Okay. But, um, here it's reversed. So to me, we're, this is saying that this energy is being released. Um, this energy is being blocked. Okay. So you could Virgo or someone else around you, you could actively be avoiding this five of swords energy, or at least you could be coming aware of how that energy has been, um, negatively affecting you. We have the emperor in reverse. We could be talking twin flames. The emperor does symbolize, uh, the divine masculine. Um, there could be an Aries that you are associated with because the emperor is the Aries card. Um, but either way, I feel like a reanalysis of masculine energy is at play here. And that has a lot to do with the five of swords energy. Um, so someone could be either you Virgo or someone around you could be really in this period of, um, of uh, reanalyzing what it is to embody masculine energy, what it is to be a, a masculine entity in this world, whether you're a twin flame or not. Um, excuse me. And most of that is coming forward this because of this uh, new spiritual um, reality, 555 on the counter, change. Oh yes, change, change, change is happening. Wow, I just saw 555 on the time counter and we have the five of swords and the five of cups here. Huh, that's interesting. So yeah, there's a lot of change going on, Virgo. Um, but what's this this analysis, this um, coming to terms with some element in your life is being brought about by what is represented by the Knight of Wands. So you you or someone else could be realizing that you have almost like a spiritual duty. And if it's not that deep for you, it's just you're coming out of this uh, negatively aspected Knight of Wands in that just... Um, sexually promiscuous or socially promisc promiscuous is if, if that's a thing. Um, uh, Wishy-washy, not really being into commitment, not honoring anything, really just kind of flying by the seat of your pants all the time. And then underneath all of that, we have um, the Five of Cups. And a lot of, and this is an energy that's being generated right now for you. This could be energy that you are feeling right now. Um, and I'm going to say the same thing I've been saying when every other time that this card has come up in all these readings for the second half of the month. You don't have to feel like this, okay? The cups that have spilled are cups that needed to spill because that shit was toxic, all right? This is either you, Virgo, or this is someone else around you. The shit was toxic. You didn't need to be drinking it to begin with. So just let it go with grace, with love, with peace. 
um, allow allow yourself to learn the lessons that you learn from have from from drinking from those cups. And you know, dry your eyes, turn around, and see the two cups behind you. Okay. If we're talking about love here, we do have a representation of the two of cups with just with these two cups that are behind you right here. Um, and that is deep soulmate relationships, could be twin flame, you know, but it's, it's over, either way, the message is clear. The message is that you still have an opportunity behind you. You just have to pull yourself out of this regret and this remorse and this fear of moving forward. Maybe even a fear of being rejected. Uh, maybe you were rejected in the past um, in other relationships and you found yourself in this situation again and you don't necessarily want to get in, try again because you don't want to feel like this again, or you've been the one rejecting and you now you've come to realize that this is actually something that you really want to go after and you feel like all is lost because of what may have transpired. You still have those two cups behind you, all right? Just turn around, pick up those cups and start moving in a new direction, in a better direction. Oh shit. Oh my God, guys. So I'm putting the deck down to get into the storyline and I was just talking about the Two of Cups and look at what's under the Five of Cups. The Two of Cups. This is a, di look, look. <laughs> guys. <laughs> Woo, if we, if we are dealing with, if we're dealing with a twin flame, if we're dealing with um, a deep soulmate relationship and either you, Virgo, or the other person around you is feeling like all is lost, the Two of Cups is here. All is not lost. There is still an opportunity here. I'm getting so warm and flushed right now. Oh, holy shit. That, and I, I swear to God, I was literally just trying to put the the deck down and you might may have even been able to see the Five of Cups just literally, that one card just fall away. And I'm like, okay, well, what's underneath it? The Two of Cups, y'all. Woo! <laughs> All right, okay, 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 fine, fine. Moving forward. Into your storyline. We have the King of Wands in reverse. Interesting. The Knight of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands in reverse. You could have a fire sign. And then we have Aries in the Emperor. You could have a fire sign around you. Okay? And, um... Um... I'm sorry. I, I lost my train of thought for a second. The, again, the King of uh, I'm what I'm really getting from the King... Now, it's entirely possible that someone is showing up as a King of Wands. Again, sexually promiscuous, but, like... This is the King of Wands in reverse is more manipulative um, than the Knight of Wands in reverse. Like this is someone that knows exactly what's they, what they want and how to get it. And they're going to go for it no matter what the cost is to any other person, including themselves sometimes because they're so blinded by what they want that they don't really realize that they're really hurting themselves in the end. But I, what I'm really getting for the most part is this is a release of this energy. Either you, Virgo, or someone around you is going through a major um, re-identification of how they approach their passions, okay? Again, we could also be talking twin flames because the King of Wands is the representation of the Divine Masculine from a minor arcana point of view. The Divine Feminine is represented by the Queen of Wands. And in the major arcana, we have the Emperor for the, for the Divine Masculine and the Empress for the Divine Feminine. Now there is a release. There is a. I'm really. I'm really feeling like there is a, uh, a a restructuring here that's going on, and we have the all gifted. Now, okay. So yes, there is a restructuring going on. Now this card, the all gifted, is unique to this tarot deck, um, and this is the tarot apocalypsis. Um, this the all gifted is a depiction of Pandora and her box of goodies. We'll say. And this talks about being aware of oneself and aware of one's um, gifts that they have to offer and bring to the world and sharing them, okay? When it's positively aspected, and here it is because it's upright. With the king of wands in reverse and the all gifted, what this is saying to me is someone has come to a brand, a, a new awareness of themselves, who they are and what they truly have to offer to the world. And that is allowing them to see clearly all of the ways that they have been um, negatively aspected, the way that, and I'm picking up, uh, and wow, we've got the King of Wands, we've got the Five of Swords, we've got the Emperor, we've got the, Prince, the, the Knight of Wands, so I'm really picking up, there is an awareness of 
twisted masculine energy, but also uh, an awareness of an emphasis on tw twisted masculine energy. And now, so someone is coming to a realization of who they truly are, and it's a good, it's a positive thing, because it's something that they, that they're starting to realize that they can accept, will be accepted by the people around them who matter the most, okay, who matter the most. I'm not talking about all those people that start generating this five of swords energy because you're, you're living your truth and you're speaking your truth and be, you're being authentic to yourself, no, because those are the people that you need, that, that you're realizing you are, are no good for you anyway, Virgo, either Virgo or the, or the person is realizing this. So, um, any of, and so all the people that really do matter in your life that will, that are positive for you, that are beneficial and nurturing to you, they will accept this about you and you're realizing it. But more importantly, you're coming to a place where you not only feel like you want, you, you can, um, allow yourself to be authentic, but you want to be authentic. You're so done with all this twisted, this twisted energy that has been nothing but doing nothing but hurting you in the end, right? Moving forward, we, holy sugar, we have the Empress. So we've got the counterparts here. We've got the Emperor and we've got the em Empress. We're definitely talking twin flames here on some levels, okay? We've got the Empress with, ah, the Knight of Swords. Okay, so somebody wants to move forward. Somebody wants to come rushing in, rushing in. But the Knight of Swords is reversed because they can't. Either they know they can't or they feel like they can't. They could feel like they can't because of that Five of Cups energy and feeling like all is lost. But like I said before here, the Empress is upright, okay? So if you're, if you're a Divine Masculine and you feel like all is lost with your Divine Feminine, you've got it all wrong, buddy. Because she's just, I see, I literally see her just sitting up there on her throne, just waiting. I'm right here. Whenever you're ready, <laughs> right? Um, also, what the Knight of Swords also, and it does say the prince, uh, princes, the knights in this deck are um, are labeled as princes, and um, the Knight of Swords is saying, in reverse, is saying that this whoever, if, if, again, if we're talking twin flames, um, the, the divine masculine in this situation is not fighting the connection anymore, or is in the process of uh, putting down that sword. Okay, that's great. I'm trying to see. Yeah, okay, moving forward, we have Eight of Swords in reverse. So not really, not, not feeling like you're in a mental prison anymore. Literally, literally busting yourself out. The Eight of Swords, it talks about um, self-defeating thoughts and beliefs. Could even be self-fulfilling prophecies um, in the sense that you, because our thoughts create our reality. So the more you think about something, you know, the more you're going, the more of it you're going to create in your reality. And if you're in a negative thought cycle or a negative mental cycle where you 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 feel like you're trapped somewhere, like you can't get out of it, and then you keep getting physical um, uh, physical evidence of it in your world, which only helps to keep you in this mental prison. Well, there's your self fulfilling prophecy right there. The thing about the Eight of Swords is you have the power to break yourself out of this prison. All you have to do is stop thinking those things. And so here we have the Eight of Swords in reverse, and so that's happening. Either is happening or is going to be happening. And we have the High Priestess. And this is why this is happening, because someone is listening to their intuition now. I do. I am picking up that there is still, there is a good amount of secrecy here because the High Priestess, the High Priestess knows all, but she ain't saying shit. Right. So this is kind of, the, so someone is breaking out of this eight of swords energy, this mental prison, but they're most likely pretty secretive about it. But the main thing that the high priestess is saying, because the high priestess uh, speaks of intuition. The reason why someone is breaking out of this uh, mental prison is because they're finally listening to their, their intuition. Okay. That's great. Next. We have, oh, the Knight of Cups. <laughs> so someone coming forward wanting to give a message of love. And that's coupled with, ah, the Nine of Pentacles. 
So this either could be, excuse me, guys. So um, someone wants to come, someone wants to come forward and send a message to love, of love to someone that they see as a really stable and independent person. And I'm picking up. There's a little bit of anxiety here, like. And this is also why we have the Knight of Swords, is what I'm getting, is because, but the Knight of Swords is reversed in the sense that wanting to rush forward to, to do something about this, um, but knowing that they can't, whoever wants to come forward to this person that's represented by the Nine of Pentacles. Now, I, I, I'm definitely seeing that both you, Virgo, and the other person that we're talking about here are very much Nine of Pentacles status very independent, strong, attractive, goal-oriented, doing their own thing, living their own lives, doing what they're, going after what they're passionate about. Um, um, they could be business-oriented, an entrepreneur. Um, either way, there's someone that this is, this is an individual, okay? Stands on their own two feet and, and is not going to take any shit from anybody who, who, ha who, any, who tends to be a naysayer, right? We have the Knight of Cups, which is someone coming forward with an offer of love. And now this is not just like a page like, oh, I think you're cute. Um, I want to, you know, I, I have a crush on you. No, this is someone coming forward saying, hey, look, either, either could be one, it could be put anyway, really. But it's like, it's a message of like, hey, look, I, I really have some deep feelings for you. And I want to know where we can go with this. Could even be like, hey, look, I'm in love with you. Can we do something about that? Okay, but either you, either you, Virgo, are seen in this way and someone is coming forward, wants to come forward to you, or Virgo, this is you wanting to come forward, go move forward towards the other person. But it's this nine of pentacles energy, this this self-sufficiency, this, this deep independence that's really generating this desire to come forward and, and kind of like catch, snatch this person up before someone else does, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, moving forward, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Ooh, all right, with the moon. Aha, okay, all right, Whew. good. Um, and I know I know, many of you who know the Tarot are like, what do you mean good? That's not good. Wait, guys, hold on, it is. The Ace of Cups is in reverse right now because of this, of these feelings of the five of cups okay this is just confirmation that all is not lost because the ace of cups is in reverse but then we have the moon saying ah, everything is not what it seems okay there's some illusion around this there's some secrecy around this okay so either who so for whoever wants to come forward all is not lost it's really not what it looks like for the person that is wanting someone else to come forward understand all is not lost it's really not what it looks like they're just, this person is just not letting things show right now. And it's entirely possible that they can't. Like they may have, they may have to keep this a secret. Okay. At least for the time being. Why? Because my attention was just drawn to the five of swords. If they were to, to really let this flow right now, like if they were to open the floodgates and let everybody know or take action in a way that people would, would know or would figure it out, that could generate some real backlash. That, and that's just at in this current time period. I'm not saying that's going to last forever. All I'm saying is at this moment, things need to be hidden right now. And all, and really, actually, and it's not even like I, I don't want I don't want you to anyone to think that um, you know we're in a sense taking on some 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 sort of conformity because we're not letting things show. It's really just to protect the connection right now because it's really kind of I feel like it's in like an infantile state. You know, so the good thing, even though it's reversed, the good thing about the Ace of Cups is that it's here. Okay, this is a brand new emotional start. It's in reverse, but then it's clarified by the moon saying things are not what they look like. Things are not as they seem. The Ace of Cups is here for both of you. Okay, you just got to get through this period is what I was just told. Moving forward, we have death in reverse okay with oh, wow there's that eight of cups in reverse again guys so here's the deal this is why things need to be under wraps right now because a transformation is happening there is a bit of resistance i do feel that 
But most of the resistance is coming from the fact that there's, un I mean, it's stepping into the unknown. Like someone is kind of, is not really used to this. And this is what I'm saying about there's a new, um, uh, there, someone is stepping into like a spiritual warrior status. And if you're talking about twin flames, that's who twin flames are. They're spiritual warriors. And someone is become, is awakening to this process now. And so because of that, we have death and the eight of cups, but both of these are in reverse. So the resistance is coming in from the sense like, this is brand new. Whoa. I don't know about this. Is this even real? Like what the F is going on? But at the same time, what the eight of cups is saying is there is a desire to move away from unfulfilling situations, situations and relationships that someone no longer resonates with, okay? So while there is resistance, the reversal of these two cards is also saying that we are in the process of doing this. And this is also why things kind of need to be kept under wraps, at least as from, from one person's point of view. Things need to be kept under wraps right now because they themselves are not really sure if this is the right direction to go in, even though they know, they feel with their intuition, um, they feel this strong pull in this direction. They're still kind of hesitant about it. Um, they still don't even know if they, they may not even know if they still have a chance with this person should they move forward. Um, but also this is a big step. This is a big step process. This is a major change. I mean, death does talk about, um, you know, major transformations. Anyway, death is part of the major arcana. So we're talking about things that are much more significant than say minor arcana situations, everyday life situations. This is a major spiritual realignment, you can say. Um, so that's why this is going to take some time. This is, this is a process, you know, this is, this is not easy. It is not easy. Okay. Just keep that in mind, guys. Next, we have the hanged man. So self-imposed, um, I heard imprisonment. It's not imprisonment, honestly. It may feel like a prison. You may be feeling like you're in a prison at the moment, but this is, this is self-imposed isolation in order to gain enlightenment, in order to see things from a different perspective. And this is coupled with the Knight of Swords, I'm sorry, not the Knight, the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, so someone is isolating themselves. Someone is separating from the situation. Uh, I'm feeling or I'm hearing on an energetic level. Um, and the Page of Swords, or in this deck, the princesses are pages and the princes are knights. The Page of Swords is someone, it tends to talk about spying, checking up on someone, you know, uh, you know, kind of stalking somebody. It doesn't have to be malicious. It could just be, you know, following someone and seeing what they're up to, seeing what they're posting, you know what I mean? Um, but here, someone has stopped doing that altogether. Um, and they have pulled away from the situation in the sense that they're, they've are they isolated themselves from the, the relationship here that we're talking about um, in order to gain enlightenment, in order to see things from a different perspective, okay? It doesn't mean they don't care. It doesn't, and it also doesn't mean that they don't want to be looking and seeing what you're up to, but at the same time, um, I know personally I did that I, I have been doing that because I felt like if I were to continue checking up, checking in, seeing what was going on, it was only going to drag me down. It was only going to keep me in a codependent um, cycle of, you know, low vibrational reality. Because also keep in mind that whatever people, like if you are looking, checking up on someone on their social media and all that, uh, and that's really, well, I'm getting another, I'm getting another aspect of that too, but I'll get into that in a second. But Whatever somebody posts on their social media normally really doesn't tell you what's really going on with them. That's like surface level. Like that's what they have chosen to maybe even put forward the best face to make it seem like everything's okay for them. When in reality, they may be struggling with something. They may not be in the best place. They may not be very happy, you know, even though what they're posting is like rainbows and, and, and gumdrops. And, <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Um, the other aspect that I'm getting from the Knight of, I'm sorry, the Page of Swords in reverse is someone is moving out of um, a, uh, a an emotional or communicative sense of uh, uh, immaturity. Um, they're kind of, in a sense, they're kind of leveling up here into a more mature way of being able to communicate, but also being able to um, approach life from a mental point of view. And that's being facilitated by the hanged man. So separating, isolating yourself from certain individuals within your social group, um, maybe cutting relationships that you find no longer resonate with you, or at least at this point, um, you know, isolating yourself from them, from these relationships for now in order to gain a better understanding of how that relationship has been um, affecting you, you know, is this and coming to an understanding, uh, an enlightened view of whether or not this, you know, certain relationships are actually holding you back or benefiting you, benefiting you, nurturing you and nurturing you in a way that is sustainable, that is, you know, for your highest good. These are the kind of questions that you're asking yourself at this time. Finally, for us Virgos, we have, holy moly, we have the King of Cups. Coupled with, oh, hallelujah, the Seven of Swords in reverse. So, um, <laughs> someone has gained a, a new emotional understanding. And that has come from an understanding of how um, I want to say they've been cheating. And I don't necessarily mean like you've been cheated on in a relationship. That's entirely possible. This is a general reading. Keep that in mind. So if that resonates with you in that way, okay, either you've been the cheater or you've been cheated on. And that could be physically, that could be emotionally, that could be mentally, whatever. Um, but it's stealing, it's deception. Okay. That's the biggest word I'm getting with the seven of swords, uh, deception. Now in reverse, we're identifying the deception here and we're identifying it from a king of cups point of view and that is emotionally stable emotionally emotionally secure um comfortable with expressing one's emotions com comfortable with with being within the emotions um and so what the set and the seven of, and swords are about mental um, situations and also about communication. So if in, in, in some situations, either you Virgo or the, the, someone else, the other person that we're talking about here could have been, uh, deceptive with their emotions and now, uh, deceptive with how they truly feel. And so now with the seven of swords in reverse, the, the, someone's moving out of that and is working on being truthful about how they truly feel about someone in their life. Wow. Oh, goodness, guys. This was a really great reading. I'm going to put this Five of Cups here so that we can see this Two of Cups. This is beautiful, guys. This is really, really great. I'm very happy for you, Virgo. I hear you're going in the right direction. So keep moving forward. Because life is about to change for you in a really, really big way. Uh, but I'm also hearing, take your time. Do not rush. There is no need to rush. There is absolutely no need to rush. And that's coming from the hanged man here. If you need to isolate yourself for a while, just do it. It's okay. All right? You don't have to be worried that, you know, you're not, you're not seeing your friends as often or you're not communicating with this person, you know, that you've been thinking about or whatever that you want to rush towards. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Just let, let, let this death and this transformation happen, okay? So that you can move forward towards what you really, really want and what you've always wanted, to be honest. And that's why, that's why um, you know, this Five of Cups energy is here because this whole time you've known that, you know, you wanted this type, you wanted this, but for whatever reason, you know, there could be past situations. Well, obviously it's past situations that have, that are at play here that have helped you develop into this whatever you're moving out of here with the twisted masculine energy and all that um but you've known that you know, and you you've known that you wanted this you've known that this is for you but and you regret what has gone on but again n all is not lost and to be quite honest 
all that is lost at this point and all that will be lost moving forward are things that just needed to be let go of to begin with completely because it's toxic it's unhealthy it's it's um it's holding you back stunting your growth it's leading you towards inauthenticity and we are not here to be on authentic inauthentic period okay all right virgo there it is much love to you all thank you for tuning in and i look forward to connecting with you guys for the first half of june holy moly we're almost done with the year <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All right, guys. Much love. Take care. And I will speak with you soon. Bye.